Hi, Kate here from HypnoTC, and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about ego strengthening. And it's a phrase that you may have heard before, you may not, and fundamentally it it's all about an approach that helps the hypnotherapist working with a client increase their sense of self their self-esteem, how they regard themselves. And this is really, really useful. It builds up a client's sense of resilience. There are so many different benefits. So why would you even think about doing ego strengthening? Why not just jump in and deal with the phobia or the anxiety or the eating issues? Well, ego strengthening actually improves how a client functions in therapy. It gives them the resources, the ability to better engage in therapy. Now, it doesn't mean to say that you just have to use it before you do your therapy. You can actually use ego strengthening approaches before to set a client up really well for that therapy, during the therapy, so that they're better able to engage with the change work and you can actually use ego strengthening at the end to help a client feel that they really are able to deal and to integrate all of those changes and to go out into the real world and get on with living their life in this new positive way in whatever their work has been. Now, we generally think of there being three different categories of ego strengthening, although there can be some mixing and blurring of categories. So we start with direct ego strengthening. And this is great for clients who like to be told how it is. It's factual. It uses direct language. You will feel more confident. You will feel more better able to cope. So it's very blunt, very direct, but it is great, as I said, for clients who really don't like the ambiguousness of indirect or metaphorical work. So that gives you a clue as to the other two types. Indirect language is much more permissive. So, and I wonder whether over the next few days or even the next few weeks, whether you'll start to notice how much stronger you're becoming. So you're keeping it more permissive, you're more suggesting these positive things will happen rather than saying you will or this will happen. Now the third type is one of my favourites. It's the use of metaphor. And the ideal thing about metaphor is that it engages the client in a story. So talking of metaphors, what I'm going to do in a moment is I'm going to share with you a fabulous metaphorical ego strengthener, and it's called The Beach. And this is part of our new online ego strengthening course that's available on hypnosiscourses.com. But for now, what I'd like you to do, if you'd like to experience this, just sit somewhere where it's safe for you to close your eyes. And then I'd like you to take a nice deep breath in. And if you haven't already, just allow your eyes to close. And just for a moment, focus on your breathing. Breathing in calmness and comfort. And breathing out any and all unnecessary tension. And as you focus on your breathing, you can also focus on the sound of my voice and allow all of the sounds around you to help you focus all the more on the sound of my voice. And as you do that, I'd like you to use your wonderful imagination and imagine that you're on a beach. Now, I don't know whether you have a vivid, multicolored imagination or whether you just get a sense of being there. Or it might even be that you can imagine what it would be like to imagine this vividly. But however you experience being on that beach, I'd like you to connect to that experience in every way that you can. Perhaps imagining what you can see, what you can hear, what you can feel, the sensations of where you're walking. And as you do all of this, I'd like you to notice a pebble. 
and pick up that pebble, noticing the feel of it in your hand. And as you do that, I'd like you to imagine that any stress, any worries, any concerns are being fused into that pebble. And now, what I would like you to do is to walk up to the edge of the ocean or the sea, just where the waves lap into the shore. And now, move your arm all the way back, get ready and just throw that pebble into the ocean. And as you do that, you can notice that you're releasing those worries, those concerns, any thoughts or anxieties that no longer serve you any positive benefit. And as you stand there, I wonder if you can imagine how the light bouncing off of the ocean clears away any blocks to your well-being. As the air that you breathe in gives you a sense of healing from the inside out and from the outside in. And finally, as you stand there, perhaps feeling refreshed, renewed, reinvigorated, you can notice a sense of freedom, free from all the concerns or worries that may have unnecessarily been bothering you. And now what I'd like you to do is to take a deep, refreshing breath of air and open your eyes and have a good stretch. So that's an example of a metaphorical ego strengthener. So if you'd like to learn more about this approach and many others, then check out our courses on hypnosiscourses.com, including Ego Strengthening 101. And if you'd like to find out even more, have a look at our diploma course. Check it out on hypnotc.com. But for now, thank you for watching.